According to a recent analysis, it's going to be the whales, those that hold the most XRP, that are gonna influence the price of XRP in the near and long-term future. In my last video, I talk about how the transactions of XRP of $100,000 or more had been ramping up at the end of July. Well, I have some new information from the same place regarding information that just happened over the past week regarding $100,000 transactions of XRP. I'm gonna tell you what they were actually doing to influence the price of of XRP compared to last month. And is this analysis that whales are going to control the price of XRP in the future actually accurate? Also, some really interesting news that just broke. The mayor and his team of the fastest growing city in Japan visited Ripple headquarters. What on earth are they doing visiting Ripple headquarters? I'm going to tell you about it in this video. Hey everyone, my name is Randy. Welcome back to The Late Night Ryan. And before I get into this video, I wanted to remind you to go ahead and check out the link in the description below. You can get up to $300 worth of a fractionalized stock, ETF, or cryptocurrency by signing up for the offer below at public.com. Don't forget to check it out. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So recently, big transactions have been happening in the cryptocurrency world, even though the price continues to, well, not do a whole lot. But over the last several days, there have been plenty of liquidations to go around. Over $1.6 billion worth of cryptocurrencies have been liquidated in the past three days. Some of that happened to XRP as well. And so with that as the backdrop, I wanted to highlight what XRP has been doing with these huge transactions because they've been making headline news because I've seen now on several news aggregate websites, we're talking about these $100,000 plus transactions have been dramatically increasing for XRP. And so I talked about in my last video how the last two weeks of July, these $100,000 plus transactions had spiked. And not only that, the sentiment to go along with it from on-chain analytics firm Santiment had also been spiking to its highest point since May. Well, some of the newest updated numbers that I have are current up to August 22nd. And those numbers are even slightly higher than the ones I mentioned yesterday, which means there is even more transactions of $100,000 plus worth of XRP happening on chain on the XRP ledger. And not only did it surpass its highest level since May, it is now at its highest level since April of this year. And even though the network activity on the XRP ledger has been relatively flat, and some of these articles have been discussing the analysis of whale purchases affecting the price of XRP. Well, in July, the whale purchases during that time frame of the, all these $100,000 transactions that were taking place, the price of XRP was actually spiking. It actually went from about 33 cents to 40 cents during that two week time frame in which there were all these $100,000 plus transactions. In fact, there were well over 400 of these transactions. Well, in the past week alone, there have been, again, well over 400 transactions of $100,000 plus of XRP, which by far surpasses the first part of August and even the first part of July. So it's not like this is an ongoing thing. Thing. So I took a look at the analytics firm Santiment and their data and what happened? Well, pretty much the same thing. The sentiment of XRP, like I said, is its highest since April. But what happened to the price during that time frame? Well, the price actually took a downturn. It actually went right along with Bitcoin and all of the liquidations that happened during that liquidation event a couple of days ago. So the whale purchases, are they affecting the price of XRP? Well, most likely not in my analysis. I've seen people write about, talk about in other YouTube videos, how big whale purchases are going to affect prices. But looking at this statistically, but looking at these statistics from the past two months and how they have dramatically different effects on the price of XRP, regardless of having the same amount of huge transactions, well, it didn't really affect it at all. So I think going forward into the future, the price of XRP isn't necessarily going to be affected by huge purchase, by purchases of $100,000 plus, unless it's million dollar plus and they start racking up, then, uh, that, then of course that's a possibility. But in my opinion, it's going to be more so the overall ramped up usage of XRP as a whole, as an aggregate, not just a couple hundred transactions. So this is definitely something that I'm gonna be taking a look at as things move forward in this uh, crypto winter, in this crypto bear market, whatever you wanna call it. But regardless of the on-chain activity, the network activity, and the price of XRP, I wanted to talk about something that was recently tweeted about that probably went under the radar that needs to be talked about, and here's why. Ripple's VP of Corporate Strategy just tweeted out the other day that the mayor of Japan's fastest growing city had visited Ripple's headquarters. Now, that sounds like a pretty interesting headline, so what actually happened? Well, Sochiro Takashima, who is the mayor of Japan's fastest growing city, Fukuoka, had visited Ripple's headquarters in San Francisco. So the mayor of this city is spearheading several, several Web3 projects for the country of Japan and his own city. And in fact, this city specifically, according to Ripple's tweets, 
have been going heavy into Web3. Now, Web3 is kind of becoming this synonymous term with uh, cryptocurrencies being used on the internet in general. Uh, meanwhile, I think that's not where it originated. That's, the, that's essentially what this term being thrown around nowadays is being used for. So, And so as we know right now, Japan is extremely cryptocurrency heavy. It is extremely XRP heavy. And not only that, its biggest financial services company, SBI Holdings, is extremely bullish on Ripple and XRP. So it serves to reason that its fastest growing city and the mayor of the fastest growing city, who is initiating some of these blockchain projects, these Web3 projects, who's very, uh, who is obviously interested in what Ripple's doing with their on-demand liquidity system, well, it makes sense that this that a partnership like this could essentially happen. Now, the details of this meeting weren't tweeted out. Uh, that's all left to speculation. But right now, we know that Japan and its and the mayor of its fastest growing city was meeting with Ripple. Because right now, regardless of what Ripple has been doing with uh, the SEC in that case, they've been exploding internationally and Asia, and Asia Pacific has been some of its biggest growth. Now, falling right in line with that is, of course, Japan. Now, why would Japan be using XRP without regulatory clarity that the SEC hasn't given. Well, because Japan is its own sovereign country and it doesn't matter what the United States SEC says about XRP. In fact, the country of Japan's version of the SEC, their biggest financial regulator, the FSA, has already given clarity to XRP and its status as a security in that they've determined that it is not a security. The FSA has actually given its official decision that they've determined XRP to be a cryptocurrency. And just before they made that announcement, uh, the Nomura Research Institute over in Japan uh, put out a study how XRP is actually viewed in Japan and holds up to Japanese law and how it is not a security under Japanese law. And then of course, just after that, the FSA made their announcement. So of course, Japan is becoming one of the biggest proponents of not just Ripple and their fintech technology and of course the on-demand liquidity system, but the usage and use case of XRP. Obviously we know SBI Holdings is big, but this is big too. Now if you're getting city mayors meeting with Ripple executives, who knows what they're going to be planning and what they're going to be talking about considering the news regarding this city, Fukuoka, is already that they are extremely bullish on Web3 and other blockchain initiatives. In my opinion, there is becoming increasingly amount of international pressure that is going to be put on the United States regulatory bodies to finalize this stuff, not just with uh, uh, XRP, not just with the Ripple versus the SEC case, but in blockchain as a whole. And because we have the midterm elections coming up in the United States at the end of this year, unfortunately, I think this might fall to a back burner issue. But then again, it might not be. There's a lot of social media putting pressure on those running for office or those attempting to stay in office that they are that, that if they are not blockchain friendly that if they are not regulatory friendly well guess what you might be losing a vote so let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this story because in my opinion it's very bullish and very big news for xrp considering japan is now dealing with ripple that have already declared it a non-security digital asset all right guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end for smashing that thumbs up button and as always i'll see you guys on the next video